So my son, he was sick first time uh, when he was 11, literally the same month. He just started vomiting, so obviously the doctor said it's a virus. And that's why um, Crohn's is a disease that is so easily misdiagnosed. It goes mm. under the carpet, under the radar, rather, mm. because everybody has stomach ache, and no. a lot of kids have viruses and they throw up, so it's very common to have a stomach ache. But the funny part was that he it went on for three weeks, and after three weeks, uh, he took no medication, if I remember, and then it went away. Um, and then he started losing weight slowly, but the sign was he had constantly and continuously bad smell from his uh, really bad breath. Okay. Very bad breath. Mm. And everybody gave him a hard time brushing it, and he did. And of course I would protect him and say, leave him alone, leave him alone. But I kept on going back to the doctor when I insisted. I said, something is not right. Mm, mother's instinct. <laughs> At the end, when he was diagnosed, he told my son, he said, you know, mothers always know best. Because what happened is only in January, he had, the second time, he was started vomiting. Mm. And by then, I was hysterical. He, he became so skinny. He was 33 kilos and mm. he was white. and. And I insisted and I said, that's it. And we went to the emergency room at the children's hospital and they gave him blood test and his in, uh, inflammation level was so high. So of course it was heartbreaking. They had to go through a colonoscopy, endoscopy, the whole nine yards. But anyway, we came back. I don't think, I, I think I still live in denial. But I, in a way it's good, because it keeps you optimistic, mm -hmm. and it, keep, it gives you strength. I mean, you can't avoid it, I do what I need to do, and I take off him. But in between, uh, when I told the doctor he has very bad breath, he said usually it's bad bacteria in the small mm -hmm. intestine. So, uh, so he, he said uh, it's usually bad bacteria, bad bacteria, you get antibiotics. So he gave him a lot of antibiotics. Like he had to take uh, nine pills a day, three at a time. And that was before the diagnosis, so they said, put it, uh, you know how kids, difficult for them to swallow. Yeah, and course. the doctor said, squash it and, and yeah. put maple or something. And we did, and we gave it to him, and he threw up. Mm. And so he said to me, um, Mama, why don't you put chocolate on it? And I said, I don't know if I can, let's call the pharmacy. So I called the phone and said, can I put chocolate? And she said, sure, why not? So I did, and I prepared, um, I melted chocolate, and I prepared for, all, every day I prepared nine for the whole day. And I realized that it's very easy for him to swallow because it's also a lubricant, and then he doesn't have the bad taste anymore. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's a product here. Because <laughs> every need, everyone needs that. Exactly. Every child. No child deserves to suffer every and mother is so difficult to give the medication. So I said, hmm, and then I designed it and I said, I'm gonna make so I filed for a patent and my son is now twelve. He is a co inventor. Oh, so already <laughs> there is nice. a patent on his name, yeah. He had to sign his name. So yeah, so we went to the design and that's what we want to do now because I'm thinking, look how easy it is. So you melt the chocolate, mm -hmm. you put the pills. We tested the first one, didn't have a cover. So when you put the pills, you put the cover on top because otherwise the, uh, the pills uh, float. Right, okay. okay? Mm -hmm. So you dip it in the melted chocolate and then you pull it up and you leave it, you, leave the, you let the chocolate drip back. And then you have the pills, you take them out, you put them in the box, put it inside. It's, and chocolate is easily washed, eh? Because it's water soluble. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you put it on top, and then uh, you can obviously put that as well. And I said, okay, but you don't always have chocolate. So I wanted to have a chocolate container as well obviously with a cover and that gives you a full <laughs> box That's fantastic. now if and it's modular so if you're an ad elderly pe uh, person and you have many type of pills and you want to see you have seven days here okay. but maybe you want to put one type here mm -hmm. and you want to put another type in a different one so you put one on top of the other because because it's modular and you close and you have a box and you can travel with it 
And the idea of having everything in one box is that um, if you travel and you don't have to look for the chocolate. See, I did it at home, so what I did is I took chocolate with a little bit of cream and I melted it. But you can't reuse the chocolate. But because it's with medication, right? But here, because it's only for medication, you can only, you can only use it. So yeah, so that's the story. Um, is there um, the colors? Why did you choose these colors? I actually, any... actually, I tell you, I am. Um, it's I'm not certain yet about the final colors, but I want it to be colorful because it's for kids. Right. So I thought it would be fun. More fun. It if you will have you know it's it's more cheerful because yes. think of a sick child. Of course. Right. Mm. Gloomy and uh, grouchy and mm. so you yeah <laughs> you know kids are sick so you make it colorful and it's cheerful so it's good. and it's also something that a child can do themselves right they can take Absolutely. the pills and put, do it themselves. But it's also so. very interesting how only you because. I don't know, she, she even thought in the, the fingers, how the fingers have to go. Yes, in, yeah, that's all right. All those little details. Because I thought if it's deep, how do you put your finger, how do you take it out? So I thought if I have an angle, it will be easier to, to remove it. Yeah. And the hole in that, that was uh, your idea. <laughs> so we had to make it, uh, well, we wanted to make it longer, but um, actually Jose said that when it's, if it's not round, if it's, Oil triangle, food will stuck in, will be hard to clean. So oh, that gives, yeah, yeah, he gives uh, very smart. He gives a lot of good, ad good advice. And I tell you, when you want to start a product, it's really best to come to places like that. Well, it's it's really it like a, this is because the idea, the little holes there to to be able to twist to it properly to together. Yeah. It's only something that only a mother would know. Yeah, yeah to very, have an easy grip. Very smartly thought. And you know, I, all the details. I ha you have to, because you think if you want a child to do But you know, when he gave me, I told him what I want. That was my initial design, but of course he had to think for himself and he gave me a different box. But when he did it, he did the cover up to here initially, and that was higher. And I said, no, because if the holes are here, you can't hold them. It has to be in a good angle. And so this you'll be putting on Kickstarter, you said? That's because I, I, I don't have the money to bring it back, to do it myself. Because only to do, I want to do it in North America. Uh, I want to do it here in Montreal. Because I think when you live in a community, you have to support the community. Because we live here, we have to, you know, that's what I believe. And also you can control the quality. Yeah. But you know, if you want to do a prototype, a real serious prototype, um, when you don't know what you want yet, I mean, you know, but you see the mistakes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can't go and pay thousands of dollars each because you never have enough money to make it product. Exactly. But it's still reasonable. It's still within my means. And it's perfect, and it, and it shows, and it proves the concept, and it's good enough as a prototype. With that, I can now go and say, that's what I want, yeah, exactly. that's what you need to do, and now let's go to production. Yeah. Right? Fantastic. There is no need to do, to pay. And I, like, I also liked it here because Jose is very, uh, very helpful. What I liked most is that when I came, Immediately, actually, Jose said, you don't need to take uh, the highest quality right away. You don't know what... To... And I said, ah, that's an honest businessman. <laughs> it's not just about taking your money. Yeah. It's he about actually good service. That I was very impressed. <laughs> yeah. And so I thought uh, every word I wrote was earned, was uh, well earned. Well, thank you so much. So thank you. Well, thank you for sharing your story. I hope to inspire other people, you know, that have a project. I, or hope, I tell you, I want, to tell, I want to say something about products. I think out of maybe 10,000 patents, because a lot of people file for patents, I think it's a big thing. Mm -hmm. I think only one in 10,000 actually go and make a product, mm -hmm. because people are afraid. They think it's going to cost so much money, they won't be able to handle it. Here is the deal. People can go to students, and I'm all for it because somebody has to give the student a chance as well. So the student did the design, it was very feasible, it charges $30 an hour. So if you know what you want, worse it will cost you, I don't know, $1,000 if you go back and forth, $1,200.
and then you pay, let's say, with a patent, with everything, maybe between four and five thousand dollars to start. Now you need the big money because if you do the uh, for manufacturing, and you have to do them all, that's about $25,000. Mm. That's what you have Kickstarter for. Yeah, exactly. And the Kickstarter, so you put, if you believe in it, go for it. If you don't believe in it, don't file for a patent. Yeah. That's right. Because unless you put, now, the, the beauty of uh, Kickstarter is that the demand, by the way, to have a prototype. You can't just have renders yeah, anymore. Yeah, that's right. That's good. Yeah, yeah, because people have used, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so they say they want to see prototype, and that is the best feedback ever. Because if you say I want, let's say, forty thousand dollars, and you get it, that means you're going to sell well because there is good reaction. People yes. believe in what you do, right. and if they don't, so you lost five thousand dollars. But either you start and you go, it's not, it's feasible mm. and it's so worth it. Look at it, I'm so proud of you. You know, we, my husband insisted, uh, my son, he had, uh, he had a, a test uh, two days ago at the hospital as well. So while we were waiting for him, my husband said, ask the nurse, ask the nurse. Because uh, I don't go and talk about it to everybody yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, we, we asked the nurse, her eyes open. <laughs> she said, that's... Genius! That is extraordinary. That's exactly. She said, you know, the kids, the taste is some pills are so bitter. I said, exactly why we did it. <laughs> I think it's because I cook a lot, right? Fresh. And my son, I make at home sometimes, I made um, peanut butter mm -hmm. covered with chocolate. He saw me taking peanut butter, dip it in chocolate. So he probably, if he said it happened, yeah, yeah. I, it never occurred to me to do it with the pills, so it was his idea. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, wow, you know, who's going to say no to a chocolate? Yeah. <laughs>